Christopher, take a look at these fresh tread marks here left behind by those dirt bikes. Now, we are just feet away from one of the playgrounds at this area. There are multiple playgrounds here, and a concerned dad fears that it's only a matter of time before someone gets hurt. <laughs> This was the last straw for Father Will Booer. They're coming down, going upwards of 30 and 40 miles an hour sometimes, flying through the different park areas. Dirt bikes riding near his family's favorite park have stripped them of any sense of safety. And my biggest fear is that my kid's going to be walking along. One of these guys is gonna, not going to see him hit my kid and then... It would be difficult. His three-year-old even knows the sound to listen for. <laughs> She's had some scary encounters herself. When the student has their past the grass, past the park, and uh, past me. But when her dad approached these guys Friday after they were seen weaving around a playground, they laughed it off. The gentleman pulled up on the sidewalk about 10 feet from me. Um, revved his engine, laughed at me, and then made some gestures and drove it down the, down the street. He says he's fine with these kids enjoying their dirt bikes, but the park is the wrong place to do it. He's hoping if they won't do the right thing, their parents will find out what they're up to and put a stop to it. I want to make sure that my kid is safe as she's going forward through her life, that other kids are safe as they go through their life, and at that point in time, it falls back on the parents. And right here on the list of park rules, it clearly states bikes and motorized vehicles must stay on the roadways or in the parking lot. The dad says he did file a police report, but by the time officers got here, those bikers had driven off. Reporting from Lone Mountain Park, Annalise Ortiz, 13 Action News.